On average, Canadians spend roughly $200 a person each month on groceries. And with food prices on the rise, there are ways you can save money by shopping for your groceries online. Here to share her ultimate saving tips is personal finance expert and founder of MeVest, Leslie Ann Scorgi. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. We're so excited because the internet has, <laughs> I'm really excited about this, because there's so much you can do when it comes to yeah. shopping for groceries online, but it really does involve a little bit of changing the way you think about how you yes. grocery shop. It, it changes the whole process, in fact. What I love about online grocery shopping is the ability to browse across multiple stores for the best prices. And I'll give you an example. Last week I had to buy two bags of cherries on two different days for two different purposes. And at one store, it was $4 per pound more than the other. I'm so frugal that I don't like the fact that if I had just taken a little bit more time, done my browsing online in advance, I would have saved that extra dollars, thus paying myself first. The other thing that I think is really nifty about online grocery shopping is for, for parents, you get to leave your kids at home. And we know that kids are highly influential in running up the grocery tab. So by having the comfort of your own home, saving some time, pre-planning, you're able to, to save some money. And that's really where the third benefit comes from. If you do online grocery shopping versus at the store, you have this incredible ability to like mark down what you actually need mm -hmm. and get what you actually need because you're pre-planning. That's where you're going to save some money. Now, I mean, with you know, canned goods and cereals, things like that, that's easy because you know what you want, you know what you're getting. How do you do it, though, with produce and things like that? Well, there's so much that's changed. Only a few years ago, um, you weren't able to get fresh produce uh, because there was quality control issues. But now you can have everything delivered usually within 24 hours and sometimes even less time. And it's, it's fresh and crisp if you're ordering things like fruits and vegetables. Which, by the way, fruits and vegetables, which we know we need to eat a lot more of, mm -hmm. they're expected to rise by 6% in prices this year, where, whereas staples are expected to rise only 3%. So that's a huge area and opportunity for us to save. I always say that if your produce isn't as fresh as you would have liked it to be, that you should just call the retailer get yourself a refund or have them replace it. So they are going to pick the freshest ingredients to make sure that you aren't getting a bruised apple or something. That's right. Now, you may be a little bit more picky than the personal shopper in the store. However, if you give them some feedback, they will usually amp up the quality. And this is where we're seeing some major changes. We're seeing these retailers want to compete very uh, diligently in the online space. So their personal shoppers, as they're putting your bag together, mm -hmm. Are, are shopping as if it was them. Now, I want to talk about the pricing really quickly as well, because mm -hmm. how much money exactly are we saving? Because you have to do a little more work ahead yes. of time. So how much money am I saving? So online shopping will help you save between 15 and 20% on your annual grocery bill. And there's two factors. Number one, you can do price comparisons a lot more accurately, so choosing the lower price. There's an app for that. That's right. Um, you know, the, one of my favorite apps is the Flip app. I use it often, and I look for things like coupons uh, to compare that cherry scenario. If I had just used my app that one day to compare, I would have gotten a better price. Um, but the other way that you're saving money is you're not wasting. And we know that Canadians throw out 20 to 30 percent of their groceries every year super bad for your wallet and terrible for the environment is there a minimum amount you should be thinking about buying online or is there a... uh, no I, I would say that every retailer has their minimums to either reduce a delivery fee or or make it worth your while so um, some of the minimums that I have seen are 10 to 25 dollars uh, anything less than that, you're going to be charged uh, delivery fees if you're not picking up at the store. All right, so maybe mm -hmm. think about that. Well, again, thank you very much for joining us thank today. Thank you.